Hey guys, Commander Carwin A here back again, We're reviewing Star Wars The Clone Wars, Commander Bly. Um, so, he is just a repaint, but as you can see, sorry out of the packaging, uh, because I messed up on the first part of the review. Um, but I'm sorry about that, if you wanted to see him in the packaging. But I still have the car back though. So you can see there's a nice picture of him up there, on the corner. And then on the back, shows a nice picture of the figure, and the episode he's from. And it says, Commander Bai leads the 327th Star Corps of clone troopers assigned to General Jedi General Edo Sakura during the Clone Wars. He becomes precociously close to finding out the devastating effect of the new Separatist weapon that threatens the peaceful Lerman village. So that's what it says on the back. So now onto the figure itself. Um, so, um, it's just a repaint of, I believe, Captain Rex, um, just with a different helmet. Um, and he does have the binoculars, so it's pretty cool. Uh, he comes with a smaller version of the DC-15 rifle, and he does have two of the Rex-style pistols, since you're right here, and the holsters on both sides. Um, the weird thing about this is the holsters are kind of small in this version. I'm not sure why. Um, but anyways, uh, it's pretty cool. Uh, the articulation for him is ball-jointed head, ball-hinged shoulders, ball-hinged elbows, uh, ball-hinged wrists, ball-hinged uh, hips, civil waist, I mean, not, ah, jeez, I'm messing up, I'll go over that again, it's ball jointed head, ball hinge shoulders, ball hinge elbows, ball hinge wrists, uh, ball hinge waist, civil hips, ball hinge knees, and ball hinge ankles, so, pretty decent articulation, and he does have a removable helmet, of course, um, and this is a new helmet sculpt for him, I mean, head sculpt, uh, gives him an older look, because I believe Commander Bai is older, and he also has two tattoos on the side of his face. I don't remember seeing that in the episode, so you can kind of see there. Uh, two yellow, looks like ribbons on his face on both sides. So it's kind of weird though. Um, not exactly sure why he has those. Um, but he does have a powder on thingy, which you can take off if you want to. Um, and then his helmet, he has the binoculars, which go down and up. So it's pretty cool. Um, so this figure is really nice very long anticipated figure um so i'll give him a five out of five just because he's a really nice clone trooper um decent amount of detail and uh accessories so pretty cool figure very worth picking up so that's pretty much it and i'll see you guys in the next review